In this episode, we're going to talk about using monitors to both proactively and reactively assist in managing bed bugs in housing authorities. everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about using monitors in housing authorities. And so one of the things that Bedbug Central has been focusing on of late is, is working with housing authorities and other, you know, section eight type, you know, lower income type situations and promoting the use of monitors and bedbug lures for helping both proactively and reactively deal with bed bugs. And so one of the things that we know is, listen, you know, the data is out there. Rutgers has done the work in northern New Jersey. You know, they found that in buildings in northern New Jersey and, and HUD funded type situations and, and housing authorities that, you know, an average of about 12% of units have bed bugs. Uh, and if you think about it, that's a whole lot of bed bugs. And so when situations get like that, you know, and if you're not seeing them in your area, I can tell you it's going to happen eventually. You know, what do you do? How do you deal with that? And so the trick to this is, listen, there are people within those buildings that aren't reporting the problem. Now, I know for many people out there, it's very difficult to understand that. You know, how can somebody have hundreds and thousands of bed bugs and not say anything? But what I can tell you from working in tons of buildings like that is it happens. Uh, it happens a lot, actually. And that's what's actually causing these really widespread, you know, devastating bed bug infestations is that people aren't reporting it. It gets real big. They start walking down halls. They're, they're actually on the person as they walk through the building. And these, these infestations, you know, are created and, and buildings see 20 to 30 percent infestation rates in their apartments. And it's, it's not good. And so one of the things that we're doing is talking to housing authorities and saying, listen, you know, whether you use volcano, active volcano, active blackout blackout alone you know you need to be doing something to proactively detect these infestations and so we've worked with you know uh, housing authorities in Ohio Alaska um, you know Pennsylvania New Jersey where you know either the pest control company or the housing authority is going in and setting these types of devices either one per bed or couch or two per bed or couch both volcano alone and active volcano and Detecting infestations and, and claiming huge success, you know, and, and identifying infestations, treating those infestations, knocking them down, and then seeing that percent of infested units go down over time. Uh, and so really important in managing infestations across communities. We've also seen people use these devices to also drive numbers down in big infestations. You know, we've had, uh, you know, we had a housing authority in, in Pennsylvania, for instance, that, that sent us all these pictures of active volcanoes that were literally, you know, full of bed bugs. I mean, you know, hundreds of bed bugs inside of them. And listen, I'm not saying it's gonna solve the problem, nor would we ever position a monitor that way. But what it is gonna do is it's gonna help drive numbers down. You know, if you have 300 bed bugs inside that device, that's 300 bed bugs less that you have to deal with. And so you can use them both proactively to detect infestations, as well as reactively to help you, you know, drive numbers down. And so if you have any questions on using monitors inside, you know, housing authorities or lower socioeconomic situations and what benefits that they can they can provide jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and hope to see everybody soon enough